Hey, welcome everybody here to the grand final of the Shanghai Major Open Qualifiers. This is the EU one. The winner of this will go into the qualifier of the EU teams where they will be meeting up against teams as I believe it's Vega, Elements, all those strong teams which I personally am kind of scared of to play up against because this is probably the most stacked <laughs> qualifier there is. You're better off going into the North American one if, if uh, you would ask me. Having that said, this is Kaipi, Mama's Boys. Mama's Boys is the old uh, Porsche L here. They yeah, got some new players here, some new blood, and uh, they're gonna see how far they can go. And uh, for now, it's gonna be the finals. And Kaipi, there's a new Bone 7 stack here, together with fucking Matt, that's the only one I actually know. Apart from that, Buffney, Genso, Kina, it's, 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 it really doesn't ring a bell with me. From I love uh, my mom, aka Mama's Boys. I know Pycat, Saksa, Jepser, Hook. I actually know all of them. <laughs> That's pretty bad, actually, that they're in one of these two teams. Uh, well, having that said, Kaipi, they pick up the tiny van here. The van out the Invoker and Nice Talk. Nice Talk really popular, big more in the EU scene over the other scenes, so. Not too unexpected of a van here. Invoker, it's just been picked up everywhere. That hero has just seen a resurgence in his popularity. Really strong in lane and also just overall. Once they get level 25, that deafening blast all around you. <laughs> That's nasty, man. That's just way too nasty. Having all of that said, uh, Mama's Boys, they are able to ban out. Actually, in Omni Knight, you don't see the one banned out in first phase often. I guess Kaipi got like a very well known Omni player here. I'm gonna ban out the Wind Range, that's a, bit, a little bit more common one. Just want to secure a bit more in the mid lane. As well as, let's see, the IO Infinity Fuel Spirit ban. That's. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, I would say, either. Or picks here. Io is just strong with everything. They bit of a counter pick against the tiny or the I don't know which one actually picked the first, but you don't want to give the Io tiny to someone. So. Doesn't mean that they need to come by up with something possible things usually picked up. I guess with Vengeful you might be looking at CK already, just because the uh, Chaos Strike gives you minus armor now, and you just go more into the minus armor strat. You might even pick up the Slarder now as well and just go full in onto that. Tiny is really low armor target. So. Remaining. Even Bane doesn't really have to most of his uh, most most armor so. Radiant team back. Mm. Apart from that, yeah, there's some other things to go for it, of course. So. And depends on how you want to run it. The Broodmother has been taken out by Kai, but they don't really want to deal with this. More than understandable. They seem to be more willing to take out heroes that actually kinda of change the game. Like the Night Stalker. And the Broodmother here, so. Once we take out the Dazzle, don't want to deal with that, so it's okay. All of this does leave in Earth Spirit and of course also Oracle, who has been banned like a bunch of times in the beginning, but right now seem to be more forgiving to get through. Five seconds remaining. Either teams know how to play now against it or they just really don't want to deal with it or they are okay with dealing with it. Dire team pick. So let's see what's gonna go for it. Actually, ban out the bed rider here. Hmm. Why do they do this? They have one seven. He's the known bed rider player. Taxi Bamboo. He's probably able to play any. He already put in the offline, but I wouldn't straight up think, hey, let's get bed rider here. Especially since you're the one. I guess they don't want to give it to him because they have vengeful. And you don't want to go into a big like uh, Shadow Demon or something along those lines. You don't want to do that. So yeah, hmm. What else is left here? They pick up the Queen of Pain here. Oh, that's gonna be nasty for the mid lane, especially since Mama's Boy actually Spirit took out the Wind Ranger. Spirit Break is not the strongest of hero against a Quap. Although you can gank him, it's usually fairly unsuccessful because you can just blink back towards your tower. And then TP in rotation, so it's kinda hard. Hmm, apart from that, what can they do? If Pain, Spirit Breaker. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, Queen of Pain is actually just more than okay. Five 
I don't really need to pick up something to help her out too much over there. Why do you go in the offload? But then you have, nah, I think Queen of Pants is better off in mid in this case. Pick something else for there. Maybe go for your outside for Slaughter. Do Bane, Slaughter, offlane. And put Tiny with another range support or something in the safe lane. Even then you're able to already punish uh, the Spirit Breaker over there. Hmm. But that said, what do Mama boards really do with it? Uh, Spirit Breaker, of course, good setup with the IO. I've seen an SGA in the finals, Faithful Spirit was being played as Lion. position 1. Here we go, that's a rage support line in this case. Anyhow, uh, is Faithful Spirit was played as position 1, but I don't think Mama Boy will do that. It's, I think it's more of an SGA thing. And this here, because it's just not that strong in my eyes. Guess for Mama's boys now, they need something in the midline that can stun if you want to do anything against the quote with the Spirit Breaker coming in, so I... Hi there. If they go for the Vibrex, you just want to rest them out. Dyer, also a way of that. trying to do it. I was likely going to see either on Corrosive, a skin build or a Nether Toxin. Zero doubt, so I don't think poison, poison is the way to go against a Quop. It just doesn't return enough damage. As well as you want to get those early points in Corrosive skin, so in case Lion goes for you. And you're just able to give him some damage back and don't die to the Tiny Toss combination. Avalanche Torch that is, of course, and... Uh, hmm. I feel like Kaipi at the moment, they're all into the mid-game. Mama's Boy still can pick up something else that just gives them an extra edge later on. Their ganking for Mama's Boy is pretty strong, it also goes for Kaipi. Mostly they wrote single target spell so far, single target no. lockdown. You'll see the Slaughter finally taken out, as well as the Timber to the saw here. Yeah, Mama's Boy, they have a little bit too much of strength going on there, so that's understandable. So pure damage against Viper is always strong. Don't really want to give him any of that. Hmm. Let's see, Kaipi, what do they want? I guess North Lane will be best. But the new North Lane is good against all of this. It's kind of surprised me they didn't go for a disruptor actually instead of the lion. It's a bit better against Ayo. I think they're smashing their ass right now. Think about it, we take this rupture. What's synergy as well? Hmm. Let's see what offlaners. I I don't know, I still don't get why Centaur is not popular. They could probably pick him up, maybe go for Tusk. Uh yeah, why not? Why not go for Tusk? Still open, they didn't ban it. You are on the dire side, so you can pull the Asians. That's maybe a little bit less nice. It's a trick you can actually do on the right radiant side. You can just pull with Tusk. I just yeah. saw the Reddit. You can just pass. Uh, okay. You can just pull the uh, Asian camp towards the mid lane. It's pretty fun to see. But in the end, Kaipi is gonna pick up Mirana here, and Mama's boys they seem to be willing to go with a with a black cat uh, lone root here. Nice amount of push here, but. Really late game scenarios for both of these teams are pretty similar as long as it just really depends on what team is actually ahead to win in the late game. Because all of these heroes do have their ups and downs. I really wonder what Sexy Bamboo can do with this uh, Spirit Break. I don't think he can roam mid too much. I think it's a bit too dangerous. But it does mean that Chapster... Hmm. How are they going to run this? Is this going to be... a Safe lane, Fang and Lone Root in the jungle. That's Bobby, to say the least. Ten seconds remaining. Hmm. Five seconds well, remaining. Uh, let's leave that to seeing how it goes into lane for Kaip is a bit more obvious. Probably gonna be a defensive or aggressive try lane. Incorporating some of their heroes here. Ooh. Okay, bit of lag. Okay, and you know, it's one of the lanes of the try lanes. So it's likely going to just consist of Kina, Kiano, playing the Tiny together with... Who else is going to be there? It's going to be Bane as well, of course. Going to have the Bane there being played by Buffney. And then they will, of course, uh, just sum it all up with the fucking Matt going to be playing on the line there together. Kenzo is going to be in the mid lane, most likely, and Bone7 is going to be their offlane player here on the Mirana. 
And for, well, Mamba's boys, it's gonna be Pycat on the Lone Root, Saxa on the Vengeful, Jepsor on the IO. Hook is gonna be playing. Mm, what was the last hero left for them? Actually, I've got it. Yeah, Sexy Mamba, oh, Viper, that was it. And Sexy Mamba is gonna be playing the Spirit Bracket. This is the Grand Finals here at the Open Qualifier. Number one for the EU. EU. Ugh, man, I'm cold. <laughs> this mine's not going too well. <clears throat> You know, having that said, it's the uh, finals here. Winner goes to the qualifier to be playing up against all the other already invited teams. And uh, if you're able to become first or second with that one, you're actually going to sh the Shanghai to participate in a major there and make it get a chance of the 3 million prize pool over there. So that's really what the teams are going for, and we'll see how it goes for them. As uh, it's actually going to be Piket on the safe lane. Is it just going to be some support just rotating around? It's, that would surprise me. Actually, pretty much. And now, guys, this is Edson underscore Dota. I'm on the twitch.tv slash SwissDC underscore EN channel. Make sure to go there if you're watching in-game as well. Give me some love there. If you're watching in-game, just send me a tweet. Say, hey, man, hope you're doing well. Give me tips, feedback, everything goes. I'm happy with everything. Yes, we're going to see some scouting here with the bear. Going to make it sure. Well, an aggressive movement actually here from Kai P, but no chance they're actually going to find anything here. Because everybody's already gone. It's kind of it's a bit too obvious with their lineup. They know that they're stronger level one. And Mama's boys, they know they're weaker. So at the same time, they're just gonna stick out of there. Leave this to them. I don't think they're gonna fight here at the tier one. That's a little bit too dangerous. Did put a ward. Out. Oh, but look at the ward here from Mama's boy. They they just pulled it out lying walking up there. So they should know that there's a ward. They're pretty heavy on pinging it out. We're gonna get a early bottle here on uh, on Jepster, meaning that Saxa is uh, well, not gonna be too happy about trying to get this uh, sentries going. We'll take some time before they can deward it, but everything goes with patience. It's actually gonna be uh, bone seven on mid with Mirana. Hmm. We get a Buffy against uh, Hook. I guess I'm gonna stand up because you really need some help against him. Same time. This is absolutely not too dangerous of a combination here. The IO with Viper, that's kind of weird. Same time, Sex Guy is here on top together with Pycat. Where's the boar? Bear, bear is here. Giving it around there. Then Cancel actually take a lot of damage here. He actually has the, uh, the blink. If they knew this, they should have probably just run at him and just harass him out of the lane. But since they don't know, it's it's they kind of got to let it go. Well, fucking mad. He's not even being pressured here right now by Sexy Mambo. He's just trying to stop the creep wave. I think he did a pull or something. Mm, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Let's see, Bone 7. What will they do here? Same goes for Hook. This is just going to be a bit of a stalemate here. Sexy moves to take some of the experience here. Tiny, you will need to put some pressure out. Oh, this is nice. This heavy can pull here. Since they got it, it's really nice. I like this. One problem though is that Sexy Mabu is going to get a lot of uh, love from it. <laughs> he actually gets stomps by the centaur. And fucking Matt says here, take some more harassments. If they rotate in the Tiny, they might actually kill him. But uh, he, he has enough mana if he pops some mango, but I guess he doesn't really want to do it. Ayo is also pretty close here. Here is already gonna give Sexy Mambo all his levels. All his levels of HP and mana, of course. Let's see. They need to do something about this lane, though. They can't have the time to just farm it all up here. Kaipi is gonna hit their points of. Going into them way, way faster than the side of uh, Mama's Boy as well. Pretty much just winning the overall map at the moment. So. Actually, doing a lot of damage to Richard Fiber. He can't fight against two. This just doesn't work. At least, okay, now this is why we're just doing so aggressively. Jepster comes in and who will just get a kill? Or he was actually a bit of an over uh, overstay there of Kaipi. With Jepster coming in there, they're easily able to secure the kill there. And same time here on bottom, they're gonna get. The punishment here took down on the tiny as to kill him off. Sexy Mabu still wants to keep on going here. It seems like 
It's fucked him, man, but he's a little bit defensive with the boost on him. And with that, just out of nowhere, we get two kills onto the board here. We're on top. Pikes has gone pretty aggressively here. Seems like Castle want to try and stop this one, but oh, nice nightmare here on the bear. Meaning that Pikes has to keep on running without the bear. Where comes the backup? There comes the backup. Is in form of Jepster, and Jepster is able to actually kill off the uh, of the uh, Castle here. And now Buffney, he will be able to go back to the tower here. That got close there. I thought we were almost able to return it back on Pycat, but it wasn't meant to be there. Actually, a double Raven build on Bone 7 here on Murana. That's kind of an unexpected. You tend to see like an Aquila or something. I guess he's opting to go for more damage over just the hour there. It's Arrow? I think Jepster should be able to evade this one, yeah. There you go. It's not the hardest of things to evade. Okay, now, what can this Zulay do against Sexy Bamboo here? Actually, it's 1.1k gold. Wonder what he's going for at the same time. There comes out the Earth Spike from Lion. Can he actually able to charge away? Yes, he is, but no! Now the Hex finally comes out and they're able to keep him there. There comes the Evelyn. They have the toss ready as well to kill him off if it need be. Magic Missile comes in the back line onto fucking Matt. Sexka is here to help him out. And with that, they actually need to start focusing Sexka now because there's so much damage coming out from him. Now Pelicat also comes in. Wants to join into the fray here. The bear is walking underneath the tower, but I think they will leave it at that. And with that, there are four people from Mama's, Mama's Boys here on the bot lane. Hmm, does leave uh, the top lane pretty much just open for Gans to do whatever he wants. At least Hook is still mid. Was able to arrest out uh, Bone 7, actually did he kill him off? No, he didn't. Just got a rest back. It seems like uh, he's ready to set something up here. At the same time, there's going to be a pretty big fight here. As the arrow comes out on Sexka, they need a little bit more damage. He, uh, yeah, he's just going to walk in, casually toss him up. Yes, he has an avalanche. Actually, he doesn't. He just doesn't have the mana for that Jepster. As to start running away. Oh, and they're going to get a kill on Lone Druid right now. Sexy Babu and Jepster. Both in the danger zone, and things seems like Jepster will just be the casualty here. As Sexy Babu just TP'd out. Sometimes you just gotta give up something. And with that, the three kills that <laughs> Mama's Boys got are immediately neglected and taken over by Kaipi. I'm gonna put on a sweater real fast. I'll be talking through it as. Uh, What's that in Rook? Do we want to do something here? Yeah, they, there comes the Nightmare, also the TP in from Tiny. I think they're gonna go for the toss back first. They're gonna toss back first and then into an Avalanche. Get the tower to hit him, but the Jepster is also there to hit him up. They're gonna, just gonna get him out here with supports. They don't really wanna get it, have him close. Are they actually able to get him here? They need one more hit there though. They will get it for now. At the same time, Kia is trying to juke and jive here. Hook did a little bit too much damage to him. And there's no mana here in Buffy. He finally has enough for Brace up. If he finds him, we can almost kill him immediately. It's just a little bit short of damage as I actually hear a spear breaker coming in bone 7 he has to go back to the tower now It seems like Hook might just escape here apart from the fact that the keeps going after him Cancel no! What? He just completely whiffed his ultimate there I think he's right now just He was just standing still afterwards as well like no no what did I just do? No Please don't please please don't say I did that Really? Damn, that's long. I'm actually surprised that someone actually put Mirana in the mid lane, let alone <laughs> do a dual lane. That's something that indeed doesn't really happen too much. 6.83, that's what, almost a year ago now. That's a long time. I'm still wondering where the hell did they put my sweater. <laughs> yeah, they actually get a kill here with Spear Break online. Uh, Kai, yeah, he was on his own, he was a little bit too far forward to have the Warty to spot it out as well. So they were ready for it. Entanglement is now also here. So if we actually can get a good one here on cancel, that would be nice. I wanna put pressure on the Queen of Pain once it's like, uh, so the wave is down, so it's kinda kinda what he's trying to do here. Every time she walks up you would just put the bear a little bit more forward and just force him back like this. As long as he's in the rage to not get disarmed. Arrow does miss there from uh, Bone 7, trying to rotate in. Level 6 now. Viper's actually level, s level 7 right now and he completely 
neglected Viper Strike here, just went full on corrosive skin. Really just wants to make sure that he survives through it all and deal the damage through that. Oh wait, he can put a point in there, so it's okay. See, Pike has built. Uh, it seems like he's either gonna go back for the Midas here or, or he's just gonna build a wall stream. He can't really do anything about who can. He's just a bit too strong to deal with. I need to rotate in at least two or three heroes together with the Bane here. Seems like they want to go for the tier 1 push here and... Vipy are not really in a position to defend this unless they start to being in people. Range... She's bone 7 and bone 7... She sucks ya. Seems like they're just gonna let it go unless... Fucking Metcani... Nah, he really doesn't want to do this. Now he maybe wants. Maybe he can do a toss into a hex. That would be pretty easy. But nice to see as well. Right, about time that I found it. Here, mid actually. Oh no, Hook! He went in pretty aggressive, but his team's there to back him up. He's gonna go down in the end, but oh, how many kills are they gonna get back for this? They're gonna at least get one, but actually, my bull will also be, re be returned for that. Now, Jetsor is on his own. The finger comes out, there comes the toss. He's gonna go down now as well. Aggressive movements for Mama Boys didn't work out as the DP rotations here were coming in from Kaipi. And with that, it's it just turned it all around. So far in the early game, who is really taking up the net worth here? At the moment, the winner of net worth is in the end still Hook on the Viper. He's actually pretty far ahead of the uh, his counterpart, Bone Seven, one point three k. He's been doing pretty well here. I get in the offline. Has been doing a bit better than Tiny. For a goal more, so. Pretty nice. The question is who can do more with it? In the end, a, a Tiny just needs more levels and the Lone Root just needs his farm as well. He's a bit more reliant on it. I said if you can get a blink fast, what Kaya is trying to do, then he can do a lot. We're gonna go for the spoke. What are you gonna find here? Bono, could you maybe check the stats on the Lone Root uh, Dispatch? What does he get first, Maelstrom or a Hint of Midas? I've only seen Maelstrom today mostly. I haven't even seen him picking up Radiance. If you could check out what the Radiance pickup rate is as well, that would be great. Thank you. Okay, the smoke is gonna turn his attention towards middle. Yes, it's gonna charge up towards top with Spirit Break here. The arrow actually just completely whiffs, or not even whiffs, just gets easily dodged. Oh, that's still on top here. He's actually able to get uh, cancelled there. What? I was expecting him to stick around so long. Need a strike from uh, the Spirit Break, just a bit too strong for him, apparently. Maybe he got a couple of bastards there. It's actually gonna be the first Midas here for Texan Bumbo. I don't think they're gonna get another one then. It seems a bit too greedy. Also, Pike would have purchased it by now then. See, Fini, level 6 now, so Fini script is ready. We got that going, Kea. Okay, uh, he actually uh, went for the toss. Okay, this is a build pretty common as well. 2 4, zero, 1. Finger is off cooldown in 3 seconds, so I guess they want to make something happen then. We're gonna defend this tower, I think then. I might actually just let it go. What? Kaipi can't let this tier, tier 2 just go like this. That's just weird. Mama's boards are ahead in gold. But trading tier 1 for tier 2? Uh, that's not really worth all. And this actually got to be the Midas here coming back for Pycat. I haven't seen that one today yet. So um, they just want to set it all up for late game, having the double Midas here. Really? Yeah, I thought so. He's gonna stop this one. And again, this ward is probably been spotted out with this one. If I'm sexy, my bow, how many are you gonna rotate in for this one? If you can just start it up with the Fiend Spirit, that would be easy. But they first need to do it, so... 
Yeah. Rotation's in the coming in. I didn't even see this yet, I see all the... Going back here with cancel. And they're not gonna follow this one up. I know four of them, uh, the Thomas boys are here with the wars coming from uh, Kaipi. I don't really know where Pykehead is, but I can guess that he's close. Okay, so for uh, the Radiance Dispatch, there's actually no records of it, so no Radiances have been purchased on Lone Druid in any ticket matches, so that's good to know. Guess you're not too interested in doing that anymore. Evans just comes out. Section Mabu cancels his charge over there. Really don't want to go there. It's a little bit too far to get into the tier 3 range. Uh, that's a blink. They're gonna go into Moonlight Shadow now. Do they have a sentry? They have a sentry. They can't go here. That's a mistake. Hook. He's just on his own. They can just kill him off right now if they want to. Because he's just gonna start bursting him down. There you go. He just goes down. I don't get why he was on his own there as Jeffrey tried to relocate him out, but that didn't work as it was too late. And then Bone is in the middle of the fight, get, taking out Kina here. He goes down. Bone 7 tried to man fight here. He needs to leap away fairly soon. Bear goes down. They want to kill this one, but Chexa. Oh, he doesn't really allow him to go. Actually, he does as he in the end does able is able to walk away. Uh, Miss guess there from cancel on where the IO went. Pycat is also able to escape, but still strong fighting for Kaipi. Really wonder what was Hoop was doing there. He just took this weird walk outside. See who has the mechanism completed. Gonna go for uh, Sanji Arsha now. Having the Belt of Strength ready. Don't think it's gonna be anything else than that. Would be a little bit weird. One seven is. This is a random collection of items at the moment. It's really been falling off the number of chart for now. Just 5k gold. Hasn't died though. But his CS of 37 is just pretty low for mid laner at the moment. Let's see, Lion. He actually has a blink dagger as well. What else did he get so much fun? That's pretty nice for him. Actually, having this, this uh, hex initiation is really potent. We'll make the live spirit breaker a lot harder as well. They need more initiation tools right now, Mama's boys. They actually have no way to initiate apart from just casually running in with sexy bamboo. Which is not really the way to go at it. They can also run in with the bear, but really was that worth it? Oh, we're gonna see Radiance though! We're gonna get the first one of this uh, time. Oh, they actually got a gale here on Aya. Seems like a 3 4 man gank or something to try and get him now. Hook. Oh, he's gonna be found. He's gonna get thrown back here. But he doesn't care too much. He just pops his uh, mechanism. As now Sexy comes in, Kia. He's trying to TP out. He's saying, like, fuck you, Spain. You're gonna die here because this was not what we signed up for. And it turns from a, a pick off into the Yayo into losing three people on your own side. And this might just be forced. Fucking Matt is now also found. He's gonna go down here. Hook will pick this one up. They want to turn this into uh, another push, it seems like it. With four people down the pipe, there's no real reason for them to be stuck here. And they take the tier 2 now and uh, seem to be more than willing to just go and retreat here, sorry about this. I don't know why, but Maroon just keeps on being cold, it's, it's really weird. Yeah. So, okay, they're already again. Uh, you need to add spa the end, the 40 and 38. You need to do something about that uh, next time. And now, Dazzle is at the moment the highest picked hero in the Shanghai major qualifiers. After that, we have Jarocopter and Ventral Spirit.
Yeah, Fetchful is pretty much just a newcomer here. Gyrocopt has been pretty high picked hero over the previous two patches. So. Same goes for Dazzle. And they go in here. Heels has been put on Cheska, but that doesn't really seem like the plan here. Relocate comes out. Oh, waiting, Kia, he comes in, he just wants to stop this one. As the Sunbreak comes out, they're gonna kill off Jepster here. And okay, yeah, there's gonna be the return cover now. Fucking Metal is also going to be fine here. Fierce Kill goes out, but Burfing, he needs to run away, he can't really deal with this. Radius Burn is too strong, both seven is too taking too much damage, he needs to stop. Bang, but there is no lucky entanglement there. Sex Man will actually, in hindsight, this is what we're gonna be speaking about. Charge the wrong one. Both seven didn't have uh, his jump ready. So if he actually went for Bane, he could have caught him in. So that sucks. So they're, getting, they're just getting eye on it. It's just not worth it. They even have the rage is complete now as well. This is like a lot of farming to for Pycat at the moment. I think the rage is as well as the Midas. I don't think we're gonna see the double Midas here. That would be overly greedy and it's a little bit awkward for me. They already have one on the sex memo as well. The moment they're just really just staying ahead, so it is paying out. They're not losing the fights, and that's what's all about. Once you have Midas, and you start losing the fights, then you're in trouble because then you essentially have just this item with you, which is not really worth too much. But if you're still winning the fights, it's great to have it. Really wondering what the build's gonna be for Lone Root here. I've seen so many different builds and so many builds are good on him that it's always wonders. You could go more into the pushing build right now, go for maybe a Millstrom on him. Maybe go for flats on the, mo on the long route and just get the Auras. Go for an AC, go for a Mjolnir. Go for Basher as well, that, I really like Basher as well. The relocation is gonna come here, in here on the charge of Section Mabu. Okay, no, he's just gonna get locked down all the time. In the end, we will just die here to the Radiance burn. But if he is just trying to TP out, and should be able to do so. We'll just get a little bit more burn on him. I like him, uh, sitting side up, a little bit baked. <laughs> the tier 1 push starts to commence again. Don't need to put any damage here. Gonna take it down. Last tier 2 of the, of the dire side of Kaipe here. It's just left and it seems like they're more than willing to keep on pushing here with the Aegis still on Pycat. Can even respawn the Borogun in a couple of seconds as well. Who got the Sun Jarsha completed now? Jepster. Two permission saying threats and earn permissions notable items here. I should actually went for the Arcanas here. I like that, just keeping your mana for your team up. And gonna, are they, they gonna keep up? Are they actually gonna try for high ground here? That's aggressive here. Lone Root, what? Is this Dragonlance? Oh, it's Ederlands. That's pretty nice, I guess. Actually, it's just casual housing. Never mind. Is it gonna get one kill here? We're gonna get more as Bone 7 also falls. They're gonna TP in cancel, but it's already too late. They already lost two heroes. It's actually three heroes. As well as the tier 3. They do have two buybacks, but I think they just have to let go. Wait, no! Bone 7 says we're out. Our mid game lineup, it just doesn't work and. With that, I love Mama. Mama's boys. They made their mother proud here. They just uh, took game one out of this best of three. Well played by them here, as. Well, they did it. They just got game one out of the best of three, and they just need to win one more here from Kaipi, and they're the team that's gonna be into the uh, qualifiers with the Shanghai Major. So, well played by them, and. Well, with me is uh, at Borno Dash, or Dash. Not Dash. I've got the name of it, damn it. I have need to improve on my English symbols. And now it's Borno with me on the set. I'm at Center underscore Dota. And uh, we'll be back with game number two in here in the finals between Mama's Boys and Kaipi in just a bit. So see you guys then.